Alright, so welcome back to yet another video. Today we will be talking about how you can get your own skin published to the Steam Workshop. So if you are finished with your skin, you are happy with how it looks in game and you want to actually publish it to the Workshop, you will have to follow a few steps to improve your chances. But at the end of the day, this will all come down to luck, as Valve is obviously the ones that will choose the skins. But we can do something to make it more appealing to them and increase our chances. So that is what we will be talking about in this video today. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so in some previous videos I have shown you how you can actually publish the skin to the workshop. So we have that part covered. So as soon as you have published it to the workshop, it will look something like this, which is obviously very ugly. So you want to actually come up with a better video, a better image or whatever you want to do and a better title, description and stuff like that. So the way we can look at some inspiration is come over to the workshop of CS2 and we can actually browse on official content. Now over here we can see all the skins that have been accepted into the game. So for instance this Dune Trap. We can just take a look and get some inspiration on how he got his uh, screenshots and how he did his whole presentation about his skin. So over here we can see that he has uh, the pattern over here and even some other skins and it shows the wearing of skins which could be a good addition to your page to show the wear. All these thumbnails are very high quality and they need to be because this will be the first thing that everyone sees when they view your skin. Even the employees at Valve, they will also just see this thumbnail. So the thumbnail needs to be the best. It needs to capture the person, it needs to get his attention onto your skin compared to the rest of the skins. So make sure your thumbnail is very good. Later on I will show you how to make a good thumbnail and how to easily do it through Blender. So make sure the thumbnail is good and then as you can see here there is just a lot of screenshots of the weapon in various different positions which could be a good thing to add to your item as well. Now over here we can see a description which is also something that would be smart to add. So these are all things that you can do to actually improve your page. Now once we have done some research on existing skins and you kind of have an idea of how you want to style your page, how you want to include the screenshots, your thumbnail, description and stuff like that. Alright so I will now show you how you can actually make a good thumbnail. So what we want to do is open a blender. And you want to make sure you open your skin that you obviously want to publish. So this will just be an example of mine, which I'm working on at the moment, just to get a better understanding of things. Alright, so the way we can create our thumbnail rather quickly is we can actually go ahead and come into Blender. And we want to actually go ahead and select all of our uh, parts, if we have individual parts, if we have only the weapon you can just select the weapon only then what we want to do is we want to come over to the texture paint mode make sure everything is selected and what we want to do is we want to come over to here so tool and then we want to come to quick edit now over here what we can do is as we can see we can get the weapon like this so we can just create an angle that we like for ourselves it can be whatever you want obviously for this example i will just do this and then if you click on quick edit we can actually see that it just takes the position like so so that way we can actually export it to the affinity designer or photoshop it just depends on what you have set up um, if you don't know how to set this quick edit option up there is a video on my channel about using Photoshop to add materials or textures in which I explain how you can actually set that up. So this way we can get a quick and easy um, yeah, export of our weapon and in here what we can do is we can just maybe add a background, you know, just do whatever you want to this and actually go ahead and make a good thumbnail. So that is one way to export the thumbnail. Uh, there are also some other options using a camera and then rendering the image, which I won't show you today, but maybe in a, in a later video. 
So once we have our thumbnail, we can add it to our page and we can improve the rest. So then what you probably want on your page is also some screenshots of the weapon in game, which you can very easily do when inspecting it in the workshop. If you don't know how to inspect your weapon on the workshop, there's also a video about that, which will be the one where I use materials to make a skin. In that video, I also show how you can inspect it in game. And there's also a CS2 skin making video in which I also show it, but that is only when painting in Blender. So the material one is probably the best. So once we have a couple screenshots set up for our workshop item, what we can do is come up with a description. Now this is all up to you. This is just something that you will have to do yourself for which you want to actually add a description. So you will probably have to think of something. You can use tools like ChatGPT to give you a general idea, but it is best to make your own description so that you can have the details in there that you want. Then maybe you want to add some images to the description as well. And that way you have a pretty good workshop item. All right, so that was pretty much it for this video. It was just a simple one, just giving you some pointers on how you can actually get your skin into the workshop and how you can actually get better chances of getting into the workshop. But at the end of the day, it's all up to luck. So yeah, there's nothing much we can do about that. It's obviously up to Valve if they want to add your gun into the game. But this just further improves your chances. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And if there's anything you want me to talk about in a later video, please let me know in the comments. If you're having any issues, please also let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys later on. Bye bye bye.